Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to prepare Euclidean distance map using the ArcGIS Pro. So what is actually Euclidean distance and how to prepare that, that we're going to see today. So I'm having this village location file and I'm interested to know what is the distance between one village to another village, okay? Or also I'm having this shape file of the study area. So we'll see what is the distance from one one village to another village or also if you want to see which village is further from another village. So how to do that? So that we are going to see today. Okay. So actually, if you'll go to Google and search. So Euclidean distance mapping is a powerful tool for image processing technique. It indicates the shortest distance to the nearest pixels for each pixels in an originally binary picture so what it is useful it is also useful for the finding the nearest hospital for emergency helicopter flight also studying the extent and thickness of distribution of a changes there are many applications which it can be helpful so here i have some data set i'm having the drainage file and i want to see the di euclidean distance along this drainage file okay euclidean distance so how to do that, that will, that will see. And also I'm having this village locations. So we'll calculate the distance and then we'll understand this process. So first thing is that you require data set. Okay. You require either point file or either line file. What are the file you want to calculate the Euclidean distance that you require. So I'm having this village locations and I'm having this polygon shape file. So this is suppose the border of any places like a city or anything and in between you are having the point data set and also you are having the line data set. So up using this point data, we can able to find the distance, okay, Euclidean distance. So for that you just need to go to view and geoprocessing tool is there, okay. You will get this geoprocessing tool. In the geoprocessing tool, we need to go to toolbox. In the toolbox, we'll search for the spatial analyst tool. In the spatial analyst tool, there is a distance. In the distance, there is a legacy. And in that, there is a tool that is a Euclidean distance. So if you click on the Euclidean distance, you can get the more detail. If you click here, that question mark, then it will show you definition about the Euclidean distance and all that. So why it is useful and all that information is given. So you can read more information about the Euclidean distance from here as well. So the Euclidean distance tool describe each cell relationship to a source or a set of sources based on the straight line distance. So how to do this that we'll see. So I'm coming back again to ArcGIS Pro. So this is the tool that I'm going to use that is Euclidean distance. In the Euclidean distance, first thing is that input raster or feature source data set, input raster or feature data sets. So this is the my village shape file and I'm interested to calculate the Euclidean distance for this village. So I'll add here that village, okay. After that output location means where you want to save this file. If you have any folder or you or you can create a new folder where you can able to save this file, but I will go by default. And after that, you want a distance like a planar or geodesic. So I want a planar distance. And after that, I'm having this shape file. So I will take this as my extent. So just need to go to environments. And here, default is there. There we need to select as a study area. So this is my study area file. So I'll select the extent of study area file. And the most important thing is that your file should be projected, okay? So if you'll see this file, if you go to properties and the source is there, in the source, in the special reference, you can able to see this file is a projected in UTM zone 44. So whatever your file is there, it require a projection, okay? So how to do projection and all that, if you want to know how to do projection and all that, just go and visit my channel, Vikas Ghadamude. There is one video that I will show you. So if you go to my channel, 
in the video section, you will see RGS lesson one. Okay. So this is the RGS pro lesson one is there in that you can able to see how we can able to do projection and all that then you, that you can able to learn from here. I will share the link in the description box. Okay. So this file is already projected. And after that we have provided extent. Okay, we have provided an extent as a my PRJ study area. And I want to mask this means I want to clip my Euclidean distance according to this shape file. So I will mask using the projected study area. And other option is as it is, I will just go and click on the run. So now you can able to see this is uh, Euclidean distance is created and uh, this distance is showing in meter. So now we can able to classify this. Just we'll go to symbology, right click and symbology. We can classify this. So what are the classes you want to do like five, 10 classes that you can able to do here and you can able to change the color ramp from here. What are the color ramp you want? So now you can able to see the distance is showing here. So if you'll see this from this point, this location is up to nearly 3075. So after that, if you'll see this color, okay. So this color is little bit different, uh, more distance from this. Let will change the color ramp, a uh, little bit color ramp, okay. So now you can able to see this distance. Let will take the distance tool from here, okay. If you go to, if you go to map, there is a measurement tool is there. So let will take the measurement tool. And from this measurement tool, you can able to get the idea. Okay. From this to this distance, the distance is showing here. If you'll see the distance is showing me some 5,400 meter. If you'll go further, then you can able to see the distance in kilometer. So here. In this range, you can able to see the color. So this color indicating the distance from from this point in between seven to eleven kilometer. So if you go here, you will see the distance is ten kilometer. If I'll go further here, you can able to observe the distance. So it is eleven kilometer. Okay. So this way we can able to measure the distance. And if you want to see the distance between two locations, that also you can able to see. Suppose you want to see the distance between two locations. So you can able to observe here the distance between two locations as well. How much distance is there? And this color indicating that much of distance from this point. Okay. So let I will click here. So you can able to see that much of distance from this point. So you can able to get the distance between two location as well. And also you can able to see if you'll see from one location to another location. And also you are getting this color variations so that showing the distance between one location to another location. So this will be helpful in many fields. So like you can do the same thing with the drainage. Okay, I'm having this drainage and I'm interested to calculate the Euclidean distance to drainage. You can also calculate the Euclidean distance to road as well. So again, we'll go to processing tool. Here I will take as drainage. Other things is as it is in the Euclidean distance. I will select the same thing here is already selected my study area. And I want to mask it based on my study area. This is my PRG study area. And another parameter is as it is. I'll just click on the run option. Okay. So now you can able to see I'm getting some distances here. Okay. So let we can classify this distance. Just go to symbology and classify this. You want to do how much classes that you can select? Five classes, 10 classes. And you can change the color ramp as well. So many colors, I will just go with the five classes. So now here also, if you'll see, this is the drainage. 
the sky blue color indicating this distance okay if you'll further move away from this drainage you will see the change in color so that change in color indicating the distance okay that much of distance away from this so if you'll take the measurement tool so if you'll see this yellow color indicating the distance range in between 490 to 794 meter okay so if you'll see the blue color okay this blue color this is further away from this drainage okay so if you are studying about the site suitability then this map will be very helpful so the if you are finding like a school suitability so we want to find the area which is further away from the school location like drainage should not be near about to school so we are able to see the distance from the drainage distance from the road all this parameter will be useful for the site suitability analysis so in that you can able to use this map okay so it is very easy to create a euclidean distance so if you are having any doubts you can just ask me in the comment sections if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel thank you